I'm going to share with you my July favorites and I feel like it's been a super long time since I have filmed a beauty video in English so in honor of my best friend Mimi and also many of my English speaking followers I would like to first thank you for your continued support and also share my July favorites with you uh, so today I'm not only going to share beauty favorites I'm also going to throw in a couple of like fashion favorites and like perfume favorites definitely comment below and let me know if you guys like me to you know throw in a couple random favorites in future monthly favorites videos uh, because I feel like it just makes the video more interesting but I definitely would like to know your opinion as well so definitely let me know and without further ado let's get into my July favorites so I'm gonna start off with a bag favorite. This is the bag I've been wearing for like non-stop for like the past two months I would like to say maybe even a little more than that. I just I think this is the most versatile bag like ever. Um, this is the Furla bag. Um, I'm not sure like what um, which type this is but I'll look for a link and then I'll link this down below. Um, but this is the Furla like small shoulder bag um, in black. They have a lot of different colors but I chose the black one because I feel like it's the most versatile and I just love the design of this bag. It's small and portable and, but it has enough space in there for me to like throw in my keys, my cards, a cushion, a hand cream, and like something else. So it definitely is a good size because it has like a good width to it um, and you unlock it like this so you yeah kind of like push the lock and then this and there's pl there's plenty of space inside and a couple of card holding positions here as well so like it, it has like a built-in card holder in here so you don't necessarily have to bring a wallet you just I just pretty much just put my bank cards here and I'm good to go um, and I love how it has this metal chain just makes it look more fashionable I guess um, the only downside is that the chain is not adjustable so you can't really adjust the length of this chain I am about 5'4 and when I wear this bag it hits right about like hip length so right on my hip um, so if you are much much taller than me or much smaller than me um, I don't know you might want to check out the, the length of the chain and make sure it's something that you're comfortable with um, but I feel like if you are anywhere like around my height um, this is the perfect length uh, but this is probably the only downside that the chain is not adjustable um, but I love like everything else about this bag um, if you don't have a little black bag like this or a little kind of carry-on bag like this definitely um, check out this one and my other fashion favorite would be this pair of gentle monster sunglasses this is my very first pair and if you guys are into like k-pop at all these sunglasses are extremely popular among Korean celebrities it comes with a real leather case very very sturdy um, I really like their case um, and when you open up this is the pair of sunglasses I buy. Um, this is called Switch Black. I believe I chose the number one shade, um, just the black with the gold brim. Um, so beautiful. I love the design of the sunglasses. Um, and as you can see, it's definitely on the bigger size, um, but I love bigger sunglasses because it makes your face look smaller, I feel like. And I have quite wide cheekbones, um, so I like the sunglasses to be slightly wider, so it kind of uh, gives me a slimmer face. Um, and this pair is really, really lightweight, so it's very easy to wear. And I like how this is, like the entire structure of the sunglasses is more of a square shape, but it has like a soft, like oval rim. So it gives it more of a feminine look. And it has a nose pad, which is just the most helpful because my problem with a lot of kind of European branded sunglasses is that um, it's too oval shaped um, and I definitely don't have a tall nose bridge so sometimes like the nose part just wouldn't touch or if it touched it would just like be so close to my face um, so 
yeah, I just I have so many problems finding a perfect pair of sunglasses here. So I was super happy when I got these. Um, it's a perfect fit for me. All right now, moving on to more of my beauty favorites, I would like to first talk about a perfume. And this is a perfume store that I visited when I was in New York City. It's called Le Labo. Um, it's probably like the coolest perfume store I've ever visited. When you walk in, it kind of looks like a chemi chemistry lab uh, type of place. Um, everything is labeled and it's more like a lab environment and there are like tables with different like weighting stuff or whatnot, uh, measurement cups and all that. So it's really cool concept and they make your perfume right on the spot like in the store you'll be like i want that and they will make it like right in front of you it's super cool and the one i got is the bergamot 22 um i really really love the scent it's super light and refreshing um gives you a really kind of airy and um, fresh type of scent and i love fresh scents as you guys know uh, one of my previous favorites was the diptyque uh, philosophers perfume which is also super light and more of green. This one is light and floral. Um, I've been spraying this nonstop, as you can see. I just like I literally have to stop myself from spraying it because I'm using it up too fast. Um, and also, I like how you can custom made your label. So on the label, they will tell you exactly which date they made the perfume for you, which was July second. Oh my god, it's already it's only a month, and I'm already like a fourth of the way through. I need to stop. Um, anyway, um, they will tell you which date they made the perfume and they will tell you who made it and they will also give you the option to custom your label. So in this case, me and Caitlin got it together. So we just put our initials um, on here. So it says XS and CW, um, which uh, our initial and uh, it's kind of like our made just for you type of perfume. It's super cool. Um, and I love the scent. Um, I also really like a jasmine scent from them and also a like fig scent. They also have a fig scent. Oh my god, the fig also smell amazing. Um, and in terms of base makeup, I have been using this non-stop. I think this is probably my very favorite cushion all time. I know. Big, uh, <laughs> big, um, kind of a big price placement for this product. Um, but this is the Owe um, cushion. I got the shade in number one. I forgot the exact like name of this product, but I'll link it down below. I got it from Maybe Korea. And this is one of their limited edition packaging, which I think is super cute. And the quality of this cushion is just amazing. I like, like personally, I like this better than Soasu. I know, big deal. But I like it better than Soasu because I think it applies more thinly. It applies into a really thin layer, but it, it gives you like ridiculous coverage. It's super, it has really, really good coverage and it's very natural looking on the skin and it has really good lasting power. I like don't have to touch up at all throughout the day and it doesn't like wear off very easily even when I'm going to the gym. So it's really, really nice and lasting power. Um, and I really like their puff. Um, their puff just picks up just the right amount of product. So what I do is I use the puff and just dip in here just one time and this is enough product to just apply on my entire like half of my face so like I mean you really only have to just use a very little bit and it gives you really nice coverage and um, really natural and it covers up like half of your face so it's just the best cushion and um, the color is really kind of on the natural side so i use color number one if you're any lighter than me you'll probably find this like not be able to find a shade that really matches you but i like how it's not super pale like most most korean cushions because it doesn't look gray or like too pale on your skin at all it has a neutral to warm tone and it's like just the right shade for me so i absolutely love this. I have three other replacements. So I mean the set is quite pricey, but you do get four different cushions in a set. So I think it's a pretty good value as well. And finish off with lip products. I've been really loving these two. So I'm gonna start off with this one. Um, I talked about this in my Korean beauty haul from maybe Korea. Um, this is the La Biote uh, Wine Tint in the color CR01. 
It's a very like light kind of coral pink shade, very easy to wear. I really like the formula because it feels super lightweight on the lips and has pretty good lasting power. Um, so some, I mean, I feel like the lasting power is not as good as the um, Peri Peri ink tints, but the ink tints are like super pigmented. So if I'm wearing, not wearing a lot of makeup, I would feel like wearing that would be like a little bit too much. So I like to wear this because it's much lighter and like a little more toned down, I guess. Um, and it still has really good lasting power and the shade is super cute. Um, it looks very natural on the lips. So um, definitely have been really loving this. And the packaging is just so cute. Another lipstick I've been loving a lot recently is the NARS lipstick in Jungle Red. I like personally would never pick out this color on my own because I don't wear red lipsticks a ton. And I'm pretty careful when picking red lipsticks because I feel like if you're not picking the right one, it can make you look like make, make your skin look a little more dull or make you look too mature. Um, so I'm definitely very careful when picking red lipsticks, but this is like hands down my favorite red lipsticks I've tried all time. Um, this is the shade. It's definitely more of a bright red color, has this light pink undertone, but um, it's mainly just like a bright red. Um, and this just really reminds me of the velvet red lipstick from, or lip pencil from Mamon Day, which like everyone was trying to find uh, during the fall and winter season. This is kind of like a summer version of Ver Velvet Red. It's a little brighter than Velvet Red, but the texture and the feel on the lips is just about the same. I'm wearing it on my lips today, um, and I've been wearing this nonstop. It goes well with both um, like peachy tone makeup and also like pink or more like cool tone makeup. I know, right? Like, it's very hard to find red that works with both cool tone and warm tone uh, makeup. So I feel like it will be suitable for both cool tone and warm tone skin as well. The texture and like the kind of application of the lipstick is very smooth. It's quite hydrating, but it's pretty long lasting as well. Um, this is not the new NARS, lip NARS lipstick formula. It's just their classic lipsticks um, and I really like it like I mean I've been wearing it non-stop uh, what I like to do is just dab this on my lips and then just um, put a little bit of gloss on the center of my lower lip which is what I did today so you see a little bit of shine there um, I put a little bit of Dior's lip maximizer on my lower lip and just gives my lip a fuller kind of look um, it's super flattering like literally if you don't have jungle red you need this in your life. It's like my favorite red lipstick I've tried so far. Um, so definitely give it a go. And this wraps up my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, if you have any video requests, um, please leave those down below. I'm thinking about filming a makeup video next week or the week after. Um, so if you have any requests for tutorials or maybe a get ready with me or maybe uh, like a themed look, uh, whatever themed look or whatever inspired look. Uh, if you have something that you like to see, definitely leave those in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!